Today, warriors, we shall take that city and sack it and burn it to the ground. And tonight, friends, we shall feast in Odo's palace or in Odin's hall with the choosers of the slain. Now is the time of honor, the hour of our glory! The day of vengeance! the king of glory? The Lord is strong and mighty in battle. He trains my hands for war, so that my arms may hold this cross of gold. I shall not yield! Brave Sif, bring the gift of victory. Odin, lend me your helm of art. Vida, feed my need for vengeance of Vanir, Oasir, crush these walls. I am the gates of Paris!
The gates! The gates have fallen! The city is ours! Spare no one! By Sif and Tyr, the day is ours! Fate favors the brave. Now what, Siegfried? Rush the palace gates! We'll bring the whole place crashing down on Odo's skull! To the palace! Fire and vengeance! Faster! Fa uh. Follow me, Pontius! To hail our victory! A deep wrongness here. These dead, they are all Norse. Where are those fikish dogs? The silence gnaws my god. Shields up and close ranks! right into Odo's trap like a yielding elk. Do not lose heart, Siegfried. Battle is a fickle goddess. Uncle, it is worse. The scouts report that warrior priest, uh... Gasling. Yes, he rallies a large force of Franks in the east, in that church. Damn the gods. They will crush us out in the open. What do we do? Our catapults could hit that church, but they have no way to aim. We should light signal fires on the towers. That will give the catapults something to target. Yes, do it. I will get the wounded out and alert the catapults before rejoining you. Good. And I'll take down this warrior priest Gaslan before he rallies the Franks. Eivor, keep up! We must light those towers! Bad 
That's one tower. Now for number two. Gates are down! Charge! to get on the other side.
Intruder! me strength. You foul beast! You Northmen slaughtered my brother! Now, I shall wreak a terrible vengeance upon you. He stood in my way. Now you too stand in my way. Oh Lord God, to whom vengeance belongeth, how long shall the wicked triumph? Lord, into thy hands I command my spirit. To Hell icy embrace I send thee down in Niflheim where the dragon dwells. The fighting still rages through the streets. We need your strength.
Blood red wine for your drinking horn, my brother. Does this end, Toka? Killing everyone? It is as I feared. The bloodlust is upon him. He will slaughter the whole city. If I can reach Count Odo, I can make him surrender to stop this madness. Siegfried's warriors have surrounded the gates to Odo's palace. With Goslan dead, the streets are ours. We are moving the catapults to batter the palace gates down. There must be another way over, under, or around those walls. Nolwen once spoke of a tunnel in the southwest. One way or another, I'll get in. Smuggler, I last saw you in the tunnels. That was before your army started the burning and pillaging. This slaughter is not my doing. I mean to end this. You have not won yet. Char is marching toward Paris with his heavy horse. Gods, his army comes. Well, this, they are close and riding hard. All the more reason I must hurry and end this thing. I need a hidden way into Odo's palace. I know a way. But there is a band of Frankish warriors milling about. Show me. Upon my honor, I give you my word that Toka and I, we do not want this. Fine. I will lead the way. Too close to the tunnel. I will chase them off. We will die if we don't get into Odo's palace somehow! There is a tunnel. Oh! Something's going on. Down into the dark we go. Hmm. 
Be gentle if they spot me. Sneaking into the palais for a twist? Kill you, don't. How can you think of an animal lust today of all days? We will die today. You, and what are you doing? Have you escaped from your cell? Whatever you are doing, stop. Moshech is coming, and and he'll lock you up. These tunnels should lead right under the palace. Inside the palace, I need to find someone to point me toward Odo. Pardon me, good sirs. Where may I find Count Odo? Count Odo? Who cares about Count Odo? Where is our good friend Walter de Sans? Why? Who is Walter de Sans? A great warrior. Walter? A warrior? No. He is Count Odo's family priest. 
He's begging Odo to give us more wine. Huh? We plan to be passed out drunk by the time the Northmen bust into here. Odo's priest might lead me to Odo, but I need to sneak past these guards to the servant's wing. <laughs> Come on, I've got the good stuff. Don't mind if I... Hello, <laughs> me. Beer, this way. Hey, that's a good idea. You've had enough, friend. What? <laughs> oh, nice try. Where's my drink? I want a drink. Damn. Even more guards in this hallway. I must tread with care. Odo's bedroom. If his wife is inside. She might know where he is. That's odd. Oh, my lady, why the Count will not attend to you, I will never know. Pardon me, but is that food for Count Odo? No, this is for Lady Theodorat, his wife. She lies at death's door. And who are you in such garb? A healer, from Frisia. What happened to the lady? While helping wounded soldiers off the walls, she took an arrow in the belly. Persuade that worthless priest, Walter, to give her the last rites if you can. He's just upstairs. I will see what I can do. Thank you. Oh, my lady. Why the Count will not attend to you, I will never know. The mother of his children. To think it's a tabernacle. Walter will Special wine, maybe for a high feast. 
could come in handy. Pardon me, father. Where is Count Odo? Oh, Odo! His foolish pride will kill us all! Yes, but where is he? Who are you again? No, I can tell you nothing without more wine. Ah, oh, my memory has gone all hazy. Here is your wine. Now, do you remember where is Count Odo? Wine? Ah, sweet, precious wine. The water of life, the blood of Christ, the fiery flame of the world. Red wine, nothing more. You may have it. Oh, heaven hears my prayer. Now, I can die. Before you do, where is Count Odo? Although, I do not know. But his wife lies wounded in their master bedroom. She may have answers. On the second story, Along the main hall. Here, take the key. I lock the door. Thanks. I should head to Oro's bedroom. Just be bold. Your hand there is smith accent. Sandy will take your fletchy well as no vehicle. Is that you, Odo, my love? No. You're too tall. Are you the priest? The light has grown dim. I see nothing but shapes. Father, will you hear my confession? Oh, yes. I am the priest, your ladiness. Forgive me, father, for I have sinned. In my own pride, I went to battle without armor, thinking God would be my shield. And now I'm dying, and I will never see my sweet children again. Where are they, father? Are they safe? They are, are safe with that good man, Walter Dussan. Do not fear. Thank you. But, Father, please, will you carry a message f from a dying woman to her beloved husband? I will, my dear. What should I tell Count Odo? That he is a good man. That he must live for our children's sake. For Paris. For Francia. He must not die for a mad king. I promise I will do this, good lady. Where may I find your husband? <coughs> Odo remains locked in his sanctum. His sanctum? Up the landing and across the hall. My husband... Still hopes Charles will ride forth and save the city. Locked in, you said. There is a key in the bureau. Take it. Help my husband a any way you can. Death creeps upon me now. But slow and quiet. Like a shadow at day's end. So heavy. Mother, where are you? Farewell, good lady.
Give the order to strike. What good are our debts, my lord? Your lady wife lies dying. Go to her. Your duty as a husband. My duty is here. When Charles and his army arrive, we will join the attack. We will crush the heathens between the hammer of Charles and the anvil of Paris. <gasps> Leave, Walter. Go comfort my wife as best you can. God, it seems, has chosen a different fate for me. The priest is right. Lay down your arms. Save your city. Among the Northmen, is not death in battle the best way to die? Come, share a glass of wine with a doomed man. I have heard many a warrior cry out for their mother as their life's blood feeds the ground. I no longer can say if this is the best way to die. Your wife's wound is severe, an arrow to the gut. I saw her. I fear she won't last the night. And I won't last the next quarter of an hour. She's said to be strong for your children. Do not throw away your life for a mad king. Look at these works of stained glass. Delicate, priceless. Evro's artisans spend years crafting each piece. Wondrous works, I grant you that. We brought them here for safekeeping. In the hopes that your invading horde won't smash them to pieces. You tell me to surrender my city? Abandon my honor? You tell me to live out my days as Siegfried's prisoner? What would you do? I would fight. And someday I will die with steel in my hand. This I know. It is my doom. But today is not that day. And if I put you on your back, bleeding out and crying for your mother? My mother is already dead. Come, Northerner! Bleed for Paris! Do not make me slay Honor you. Honor demands one of us die. God, lend me your mind. Fine blade for a fine warrior. You fought well, Count Odo. But not well enough. <clears throat> Give me a quick death. Do not make a spectacle of my defeat. Those are not Siegfried's horns. Charles and his army! He arrives in time to save the city. They do not fight. I see a flag of truce. Siegfried and Charles will hold Pale. I must be there. My voice must be heard. As should I. But I am your prisoner. Then I release you on your honor and trust you to keep our truce. Thank you, Eivor. I shall.
Lord Siegfried, I offer a gift of silver as a token of the love and friendship between us. Let us have peace. Silver for a truce. Not a truce, but a lasting bond. I name you my Lord of Rouen, and you bend the knee to your king. I do not kneel to wooden gods, let alone living men. But no matter, let me take counsel. Eivor, thank the gods you live. As to you, good. I made it inside the palace. Odo would have surrendered the city, but... But Charles showed up with his mighty flag of truce. Aye, and you? After we split up, I took my thames and secured the bastard prince. He's nearby, safe. Eivor! <laughs> the gods do favor the brave. The lucky and the brave. Ah, so it is said. And Charles, he offers us a hoard of silver. Ah, indeed. And all we have to do is sail away. He brings enough treasure to make every Warthane here wealthy beyond dreams. For those who lived. Gambling our lives for silver, that is our way. Now, do we take his offer? By luck, he's bloody balls, yes. And call him king if it makes the old troll happy. Your battle, Siegfried. Your choice. I am here to forge my own truce with Charles. You earned your share of the wealth all the same. Never fear, Eivor. Charles must put his kingdom back together. He cannot attack England after today. Charles, we take your gift. And in return, we give you peace. Siegfried. This man, Siegfried, swears to be my loyal friend and protect our lands in Amiens and Rouen. Gosler, Abel, and my wife died defending Paris from these river pirates. And now you offer them the very silver we paid you to defend us. Are you mad? Wait. We know you are. Let me ask instead. Are you a coward or a fool? Siegfried swears to protect our lands in the north. If you surrender my birthright, you are no king of mine. Count Odo, I bested you in battle and spared your life. Honor the terms of our truce. This heathen knows more about honor than my king. Today has been a good day, but I tire of long speeches. We will take our silver and go. You Franks may stay and pursue your own quarrels. Wait. A final matter. Eivor of England, bring forth my son, Prince Bernard. I am as good as my word. Toka, bring out the boy. King Father, take me home. <laughs> it is 
there, there. I don't stand straight like the future king of Francia. God watches you, huh? I want me then music, silver and song, dancing, and someone warming my sheets. Come, friends, let us feast. <laughs>